Hello and hey, David Master of Golf with your friends. This time going to be a classic guide for the new course museum, which just dropped today. We'll jump right on into it. Hole number one. Go ahead and aim right at that hole. Go just about one and a half power. Anything around this will be perfectly fine. This guide will be a little, little less polished than normal because the game just looks differently. And I'm not sure if, how I feel about it anymore, but I want to point people into the right directions before I end up stopping playing this game. So I've played through this course a few times. And this is where I'm at. Hole number two, gonna go just under one and a half power. We wanna end up on top of this bridge, obviously, so we can fall down after it's over. It's a cool little hole design. I'm not mad about it at all. Hole number three, pretty straightforward. We're gonna go ahead full power right at that dark corner. Any number of shots can kind of get you over here. So use your best judgment. Hole four, we're gonna use a little bit of style here, three and three quarters. This is a pretty specific shot, so if you need to go back and look at that point of, of aim, go ahead and do that. Hole number five, this is just in case you don't wanna mess around with any sort of latency. If you're on playing with a server that you're unfamiliar with or whatever, we aim with the spider. About three and four fifths. We want to make sure we don't hit any of the swinging things still, regardless. And then it'll go right in. This is less easy than just going straight forward at full power and knocking one of those switches, but it's an option for you. Hole number six. I have a little bit of a setup here. It's one of the only setups I do have on the course. We aim just under three, right at that corner of that light square. And that gets us in range close enough to center that we can go pretty hard at this next shot. About three and a quarter from here. Again, not really specific. Anytime you have these big bowls, you kind of you can mess around a little bit more than you think you otherwise can. But speaking of big bowls, this hole does not have one of those. Go ahead and pop out and show you. It's just kind of a minefield of eggs and a flat, flat landscape. And I don't have the hole in one just yet, and I don't necessarily know if I'll want to work that hard on finding it, but here's just a simple strategy. Full power. We're just inside that egg. And then it's just hard to kind of get you any sort of angle to see what I'm trying to do. Didn't give that one quite enough power. This is just kind of illustrate that, hey, I, I don't know how to use this new uh, pointer cursor either. So it's work for all of us. Hole number eight. Kind of a tricky shot. There's a white spot on this mushroom we're aiming at. We're going to go just about three and a third, three and a quarter. It's a pretty specific shot to get this exact one. I'm sure there's probably an easier way with all these bouncy mushroom tops, but this is the one I've chosen to go with. Hole number nine, very straightforward. Full power, kind of just trying to get inside that long corridor right here. And then again, basically just straightforward, full power. With the big bowl, we just barely get in there, but we do. And that should happen for you every time. Hole number 10. I think this one can be hole in one. However, I did not find it just yet. Uh, you gotta be careful when you go full power because you can bounce out of the course pretty easily. But this is a, a simple little two on a par five. So I thought it was good enough for a guide. Hole 11, it's kind of a specific shot, that little nub that's sticking up off the course there. We aim just to the right of that. Full power, let it go. Hole number 12, it's kind of weird. Aim at that bird wing at full power. This is not required. I just think there's a hole in one that's kind of near that. So this ended up being a nice little thing. And we are getting up to 50 strokes. I didn't want to spend too much more time on it. But this is going to be a two once you get a one and a half. Kind of aiming just left of the flag from that position, if you end up where I do. But with those jets, it's hard to know if, how consistent that'll be. Hole number 13, I'll admit I do not understand the gimmick to this hole just yet. But being that it's a par 5, and we have a nice shot at a 2 here, there is no bowl, so it is pretty specific. Unfortunately, I had a really poor attempt there, but it gets us down into an easy, straightforward, uh, if 
a little bit harder than you think you have to shoot it with that sand. Third stroke. Hole 14, I think this would have a really, really cool hole in one at some point. However, in the meantime, we just want to get over to just under this ramp any way we can. The way you saw there, just one and a half power kind of going under the bar. Either way, and then two power from the bottom of the ramp if you are as close as I was. Anytime you hit one of those big bulls, you want to hit it on the back side of the hole so it bounces back towards you and not out and carry momentum. Next hole, I think that this can be hole in one at some crazy shot, but again, the shot, the stroke count was getting high, so I didn't want to mess around too much with it, and I put up a bad attempt here, but it's a pretty quick two on a par six, so it'll work. Hole 16. Straightforward in power and all that stuff is probably just fine. However, this is going to be easier to kind of control the speed. This is going to be full power, obviously knocking that, that first switch to get over here. And then just under two. Probably hit it a touch too hard there. But if you can get over to where I am, that's about what you need to do. Hole 17, another par six. I like to aim at the left side of this kind of cat statue at just under two power. The spot itself isn't ultra specific, but you kind of want to hit towards the middle of it, of that side. And then from here, you go about three and a quarter, aiming really close down to that right side, bouncing off the top of that house. And if, if you go that aggressively at it, you're probably in for a four because you're going to come off that hill. And then with a flat on top, if you're not used to shooting those shots, it'll be difficult. And the final hole, hole 18. A giant set piece. I was definitely convinced that you could get a, a two on this hole, and I still think you can. However, I, didn't, I couldn't get it quite on camera, and again, the stroke count's getting high. So we just kind of do these these crazy shots. Uh, there's not a whole lot of talking through them. You kind of just replicate any anywhere close to it, you'll be able to do it. And, and of course, we are going to end on a interesting stroke count. It was completely unintentional, but uh, this channel is no longer for kids. It never was for kids. I shouldn't say no longer. That sounds bad. It was never for children, and it definitely isn't now that we're 69ing at the end. So, that's Museum. Uh, the classic course, it seems okay. I don't know if it goes that well. I would like it a lot more if we got to keep a lot of our old UI and stuff. There are good changes like loading bars and stuff like that, but I'm just kind of, it's hit or miss for me. But I'll get you over to the black screen just to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and of course, be safe, guys.